Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the uh, special activities room here at uh, the Springs of Park Hill in Orange City, Florida on uh, Thursday, August 5th, 2021. Stand by for commentary. Well, today's commentary is on COVID-19, how to deal with an unknown. And for the most part, you Americans, the world in general, but especially you because you're leading the world, are making a mockery out of this thing. I mean, you're so inept, it's not even funny. You got people that don't want the vaccines yelling, oh, we don't need the vaccines, I don't know, I can't trust them. You get the people that want the vaccines pushing. Well, we're going to get you anywhere we can. We'll back you into a corner and you're going to have this vaccine whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's like President Biden, huh? Yeah. And neither side knows what they're dealing with. You get the science. Well, we're going to let science rule. Science don't know anything about this. Any more than, say, uh, Bubba, my favorite doggy, does know anything about this, right? So you're like a doggy. You're in dogs no world land here. So what are you going to do? Well, you think outside the box. For those of you who hate the vaccine, is it going to help you? Is it going to mitigate the virus? No. Is it going to cure you? No. Is it going to hurt you? Well, all vaccines have the ability to do that. Have you taken your influenza shot? Your measles shot? Uh, your flu shot? All those have a tendency of hurting you or helping you. Helping? Well, not that much. Hurting? Oh, well, maybe. But this is the problem you have. It's a catch-22 in a situation like this, okay? So you got to deal with it this way. One, for those of you like the governors of Florida uh, and Texas who are telling President Biden, don't get in my way, and President Biden saying, don't get in my way, uh, you sound like, excuse me, President Biden, but you sound like the Neanderthal in Texas that you're admitting you're not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because what you should do is, you're going to, you know you're going to get maybe a 70-74% vaccination rate, okay? And you got to mitigate this virus to 0.001% of what it is right now. And to give you a hint of how they've done it in the past, Okay. I told you, President Biden, about John D. Rockefeller's problem that he had with electricity. He thought he was going to lose his empire. Yeah. And then he got the watermelons out of his brain and the light came out and went, bingo, 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 bingo. Oh, yeah, look at what we have here. Gasoline, it's a uh, byproduct that's polluting the rivers. Yeah. But can we use this to my advantage? Oh, yeah. If we had a, something that it could work on. And then he saw that somebody was trying to invent the in your combustible engine here, which became an engine that's in the car. It's an everywhere. It started to. And, you know, uh, for electricity, when they went out, what did you need? Oh, you needed generators. And what uh, generators have? Oh, you can't use Edison's Dymano because that does not work too well. But if you had a gasoline-operated generator, hey, we're talking business here. Well, this is what you need, President Biden. And to those of you senator, uh, senators, and especially Governor DeSantis of Florida and Abbott of Texas, two very watermelon brain Republicans. And I say that with eh, 
<laughs> because I hate Democrats, and the Republicans are making me choke today. <coughs> because you guys are acting like Neanderthals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at all the trillions of dollars that both President Trump as a <laughs> well, you know, GOP. <coughs> and Biden as a <coughs> elephant. I mean, pardon me, donkey. Well, can't say Democrat. <coughs> I'm choking myself and I just had a hamburger. <coughs> that doesn't work. But anyway, look at all those trillions of dollars you spend on supposedly helping the American people through COVID. Ah, uh, yeah. Has it done anything? No. Your death rates are starting to climb up. Your variants are starting to eke into your defenses, otherwise known as the vaccines. Now, for those of you who hate the vaccines, yes, the vaccines are not 100%. They never were. There's no such thing as 100%. But if you take the vaccine, oh, you may get some issues. Yes. But if you get COVID, and those who have vaccines have gotten COVID, it's not going to be as severe as if you don't have it. That is true. That part is true. How true? Well, we don't know yet. It's too early to tell. But at least you'll have a chance of survival instead of a 100% chance of death. Ah, yeah. Wouldn't that be something? And I hate vaccines, by the way. But I have mine. And look at what happened in Panama with the yellow fever. And you had to build the Panama Canal back in the early 20th century. You didn't have the vaccine. It didn't exist for another 35, 40 years later. Okay. So they went to mitigate. What causes yellow fever? Oh, the mosquito. Yeah. Okay. So let's mitigate it. And you're saying, oh, yeah, because I know you're going to tell me, oh, yeah, we can't do that on this one, because if we use air purifiers, that causes ozone and messes up our ozone layer. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, look what they had to do in the early 20th century to mitigate the deaths. They used uh, oil uh, to mitigate the uh, mosquitoes. Uh, they used mosquito netting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's more like your mask, you know. Mask today? Oh, you got to be under mosquito netting back then. Yeah. It's the same stupid thing. Uh, and uh, they used uh, sanitation. Clean up the streets, clean up your uh, sewers, clean up the garbage. Ah, uh, yeah. And no standing water allowed anywhere. Ah, uh, yeah. That's kind of like your M95 mask. You know, we got to do this. Yeah. Okay, they did that. And then they used chemicals that today are considered dangerous. DDT. Asbestos. Panama's lucky it's got asbestos. I mean, uh, my grandfather died of, uh, of uh, mesothelioma, but there's nothing I could do because he was in another country when he died in 2004. But there's a lot of people that lived there that lived under asbestos and lived under DDT for decades. I grew up under DDT and asbestos. I went to a junior high school that had nothing but asbestos because it was a Talk of the town back in the early 60s when it was built. Uh, yeah. Asbestos was, oh, the number one thing in the land. It, look at what we can do with asbestos. And you know that here in the States. Yeah. Well, asbestos today is, <laughs> I don't want to take it just like I don't want to take the vaccine. Uh, yeah. See what I mean? Well, today here, if the president and those dumb Republican senators I mean, and the uh, governors, i.e. DeSantis and Mr. Neanderthal in Texas, Abbott, 
uh, get together and say, okay, let's put our differences aside here, boys. We need $200 billion allocated to the different 50 states. How you do it, that's your business. But we need to have the help of the people who make air purifiers to make it even better than what they have right now. And remember, back in the 1940s, you needed a vehicle to get your troops away, and you had Bantam, they had the Jeep, but they couldn't make it. Bantam was just a, no, no problem there. So they gave it to Willys and Ford. And the Jeep was, oh, you wouldn't want to ride one of those first Jeeps. No suspension, no nothing. It was a rough ride. By the time World War II was in 1943-44, the Jeep, Go everywhere. Very hardy vehicle. Suspension was still not good, but it was better than the original. And this is what you got to do. You got the airplanes. I mean, uh, you started with absolutely yucky airplanes. The Buffalo, remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Zeros could take advantage of that. Oh, target practice. yoo -hoo. <laughs> Yeah. But by the end of the war... Hey, you had the P-51 Mustang, and we're killing those Japaneses and those Messerschmitt 262s. Yeah, all right. And they were jets, and the P-51 was still better than them. They had more power, but the American pilots who flew the P-51 knew how to handle that thing. And this is what you need is your American know-how. Well, I don't think. Do you have it anymore? Or did you leave it back with my grandfather? Probably you left it back with my grandfather, probably. Your generation today sucks. <laughs> so you're going to prove me wrong here? Get the top people that make these air purifiers. Put them on trucks. Put them on airplanes. Put them on uh, helicopters. And all through the United States and the world. You get these down and you mitigate not only this virus, but other things and bring them down. And what you do with the pollutants, well, you got to determine that. you got to set up a commission to set what you're going to do with those bad boys. But you better do something with them. And then how are you going to restart the ozone layer? That's something you have to do. This is part of climate change. <coughs> I know, the Republicans are choking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, every time I say Republicans, I choke. <coughs> but anyway, every time I say Democrats, I sneeze. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Because neither one of you are doing anything for your people. So what do you say? Get together, get off your duffs, and get something done. This is your favorite lady, and good day.